Once upon a time, in a little village called Casillas Downens, everyone was excited because it was Halloween night. The moon was full, the fairies were dancing, and the horses were prancing with joy. It was as if the whole village was filled with magic. Now, remember, Granny said, gathering all the children near the rocks and streams of the clear river dune. Tonight, we celebrate our traditions just like brave Bruce did many years ago. In a special corner of the village, everyone came together. The girls, their faces glowing with joy, and the boys, hearts pounding with excitement, got ready for the ritual of burning nuts and pulling stalks. The game was simple, everyone had to pick a stock with their eyes closed. The straight ones symbolized a straightforward and honest future spouse, while the crooked ones suggested the opposite. As all eyes were closed, Corwell, a boy known for his clumsiness, reached out and pulled a stock. But to his dismay, it was a cabbage stock that resembled a sow tail. Oh, Will, the villagers burst into laughter, their merriment echoing through the night. Always a source of amusement, aren't you? Even with the laughter, the air was filled with anticipation. After all, tonight, their fates were being decided. Meanwhile, two lovebirds, Nellie and Rab, were spotted playing hide-and-seek near a large thorn tree. Gotcha, Nelly. Rab laughed, causing all the other girls to join in the laughter. Their love story was a highlight of the night, filling the air with whispers of young love. In a sweet moment, Nelly whispered to Rab, look for the burning blaze, Rab. Rab, being cheeky, replied, only if I get a kiss, and with that, he stole a sweet kiss from Nelly hiding in the shadows, away from the curious eyes of their friends. Elsewhere, little Jenny had an apple from her Uncle John. She asked her granny to accompany her to play the apple and mirror game. The objective was to see the reflection of their future spouse. Jenny, dear, granny warned, remember what happened last Halloween. We should be careful, but Jenny, with a twinkle in her eyes, said, oh granny, it's all in good fun. Later that night, as the tales grew wilder, Jamie bravely tossed hemp seeds over his shoulder, waiting for his future spouse to appear. All of a sudden, he heard a squeak and fell down in fright. Hearing Jamie's cries, the villagers rushed over, only to find a grumpy pig causing all the commotion. The Halloween night was filled with laughter, songs, friendly chats, funny jokes, and delicious food. With hearts full of joy and faces glowing with happiness, they bid each other goodbye, promising to gather again next year for another memorable Halloween night. And as they left, they carried with them the magic and warmth of that special Halloween night in Casillas Downens.